Hey guys, welcome to my presentation on the Stingray today. So let's start off with some background information. The Stingray is a fish with a skeleton made of cartilage, and these type of fishes are called chondric thighs. Now chondric thighs include animals like the rays, or also the sharks, and they have generally five to seven pairs of gills, and all the other features that you've come to expect from fish, like a vertebra and the fact that they're limbless. So, stingrays are part of a subclass of chondric thighs called elasmobronchi, which also include the rays, the skates, and the sharks. Unique to this group is the fact that their notochord, their supporting rod in the development of the stingray, turns into cartilage. Because they don't have true bone and therefore have no bone marrow, they produce red blood cells from their spleen and their latex gland instead. If you can see in this picture over here, the latex gland is just right over here. So the stingray is a generally flat fish with its pectoral fins attached to the head. Its flat body allows it to burrow itself in the ground when hunting for prey, and the color of its skin actually blends in really nicely with the seafloor for camouflage. So if you can see in this picture over here, its eyes are actually on top of its head. And surprisingly, this doesn't coordinate very well with its mouth, which is on the bottom of the stingray right over here. So when it's burrowed in the ground, the stingray actually has to rely on its sense of smell and its electroreceptors to detect prey. Now what are electroreceptors? If we look in this diagram over here, this network of red dots, these are the electroreceptors and they allow the animal to sense other animals' electric signals in water, which is very conductive. Now in bony fishes, swim bladders, like the one in this carp over here, uh, they exchange gases to control the fish's buoyancy. Cartilage fishes don't have swim bladders. Instead, they have these large livers filled with oil that do the same job, control buoyancy. So these large livers are filled with a lot of oil, and this oil can also be used as an emergency food source for the stingray in times of need. Now the stingray is definitely not something you'd like to be messing with in the water. It has this long flexible tail with a venomous barbed stingers. And this tail can actually reach lengths of up to 35 centimeters long. And its barbed stingers can reach up to lengths of uh, 9 centimeters long. And these stingers are also tipped with venom, so definitely not something you'd like to be messing with. In terms of digestion, stingrays are carnivorous and they eat mollusks, crustaceans, and small fish. So first they munch things with this type of teeth. Uh, unique to cartilaginous fishes, this type of teeth is called uh, dermal denticles. And they're ve basically very similar to these type of scales over here. It is said that dermal denticles were an evolution of scales that migrated into the mouths of creatures like the sharks or our stingray. And otherwise, their digestive system of a stingray is very similar to humans. They have an esophagus, they have a stomach, and they also have an intestine that is curled to conserve space for their liver and reproductive system. The stingray's role in the ecosystem, um, they're generally not hunted and they can help uncover prey for others when they display sand, when they burrow itself into the sand, like in this picture over here, to hide, to camouflage itself. It moves, dislodges prey, and predators can hunt on the prey. Reproduction. Males court females by biting at their pectoral disc, and the male basically puts its clasper into the female's valve to transfer sperm. So this is internal fertilization. That's also how you tell males and female uh, stingrays apart. If they have these two claspers, then they are a male. So like humans, uh, stingrays go through internal fertilization and produce live young. Unlike humans, there's still an egg involved that covers the embryo, but it's in the mother, unlike reptiles. And once the babies finish developing, they get to hunt with their mother. So just some cool facts. Now we mentioned that the stingray has a long tail, but you shouldn't really have to worry about it because it's really non-aggressive and curious. And stingrays can also reach top speeds of up to 48 kilometers per hour. 
Here is my presentation. Thank you very much for watching. Have a nice day.